Hey, you. Get out of my bird feeder. Yeah, I'm talking to you. What's up, everybody? This is Carl from Tech for Goodies, and today we are looking at the DZ's bird feeder camera. Okay, so this is a little bit of outlier tech, something that I think is actually super cool. And when they contacted me and said, hey, we wanna collaborate, I said, I would absolutely love to take a look at this bird feeder uh, and give it a try because it's not only just a bird feeder, as you see here, it also has a built-in HD camera. So what that means is that it is very similar to like a ring camera or an outdoor camera. It has motion detection, and what it'll do is it, it hooks up to an app on your phone. It will notify you anytime there's a bird or something at the feeder. Not only that, it also has recognition software built into it, so it'll actually recognize what birds are at your feeder and kind of tell you a little bit more about them. Now, I will put all the chapters down below in case you wanna see how to set it up examples of the birds that I got to come to my yard and any other information that you want, the chapters will be down below. But I want to start off with a little tiny story. So I have a friend that lives near Baltimore and his goal was always to get a Baltimore Oriole to come to his yard. Now he did everything. He put up bird feeders, he put up all sorts of stuff. And, and, and Orioles, I think they primarily eat fruit. I'm not exactly sure, I think oranges but it's like a one in 1,000 chance that you're going to A, get an Oriole on your property and B, actually see it when it comes to the feeder. Needless to say, he never ever saw one, never got one to come to his feeder, but who says that they didn't come to the feeder, right? If he had something like this, he would be able to monitor that feeder specifically and see if he ever did catch a Baltimore Oriole. Anyway, story time over. I was extremely impressed not only by the ease of setup of this, but by the accessories that come with it, okay? So starting off, what comes in the box is the general feeder itself. When it comes, you basically just pop on the top here and turn it sideways till it clicks, okay? So then you have the roof of the feeder. Everything else here is the same. You actually add the front part on here, sort of the perch for the birds to sit on. And then inside you have the camera itself. Now, in order to set up this camera, the good thing about this, and I'm gonna try to show it here on the overhead, is that it does tilt. So if you want to tilt this out, you can then access the top of the feeder here. Now, in order to charge it, there is a charging port on the back. You just pop this open charge it right here with USB-C. And I charged it two weeks ago and I haven't had to charge it since. It's still got about half battery left and I didn't charge it all the way. So it has bird species recognition, automatically records. It'll notify you when a bird arrives, a rechargeable battery, full HD live video, uh, 160 degree viewing angle, IP66 waterproof. That means it will hold up to rain and snow, but you don't want to submerse it, of course. And then standard 2.4G. Wi-Fi, which is standard on most of the type of cameras nowadays. So let's let's go ahead and take a look at why I was so impressed by this, by the amount of things that come in this box. They wanted it to set up so across the board, if you were interested in hummingbirds, uh, songbirds, um, birds that eat like fruit, I think maybe blue jays or orioles or something like that, that you would be able to do whatever you want across the board without having to buy a bunch of different accessories separately from the device itself. So I'm gonna run through these really quick. So first of all, you get a mounting plate, okay? This slides onto the bottom here. It'll click in there. And this allows you to basically mount it on the side of a tree, on the side of a pole, or anything so that it will hold securely. Comes with a watering dish. And inside this watering dish was one of the things that I thought was neat was that it comes with fruit forks, okay? So if you want to be able to go ahead and put fruit on your feeder, you just plug it into the front of the perch here, and then you're able to put orange slices or whatever you want on there in order to bring whatever birds you want to your feeder. It comes with a squirrel blocker. <laughs> As you saw in the intro, squirrels are a problem with any feeder. It doesn't matter what it is. Anytime you have a feeder, those squirrels are gonna be out there trying to get it. So I guess you kind of wrap this around the pole uh, in order to try to stop squirrels from coming up. But those things are, 
are masters of getting around any problems like that. Um, it does come with all the screws and equipment you need to be able to strap it down, screw it down, hook it in to whatever you want to hook it in. The only thing I was a little tiny bit disappointed was that there was no hook on the top of here. So I wanted to be able to hang it from here and maybe I completely uh, wasn't able to see how to do that, but I wanted to kind of hook it up onto a thing so it kind of hang like this. But who knows, there might be a, a sort of problem with that as far as wind and knocking it over. Also, you also get two hummingbird add-ons, okay? So this is the same exact thing. If you wanna go ahead and plug them into the front of the perch itself, fill these up, then you'll get good pictures of the hummingbirds that come to your feeder. So there's some other things in here. There are the standard sort of screw straps uh, to be able to strap this to whatever you want. If you don't want to screw it into it, you can use these that are like pipe clamps, uh, hand changeable pipe clamps, okay? So across the board, this thing is all set up for you. And one thing I did like in particular, like I said earlier, was that this camera is tiltable, right? So some of the footage you'll see, I had it up a little too far um, and I was able to, and I wasn't capturing all the little birds that were down here. So I was able to kind of tilt it down a little bit to get my ideal uh, angle. And as you'll see in some of the videos I'm gonna show here in a little bit, it does have a very wide range of view. In order to get this to work, all you have to do is press the power button here on the top until it starts to blink blue standard for most cameras. And once you do that, you're gonna go into the app itself. So inside the app, and I guess it was still recording while I was looking into the top of it, but either way, um, it's just like a ring camera. And the cool thing about it is that it will um, detect pets, it'll detect people, and it will also detect birds. Actually, this does kind of a dual duty. If you wanna put this in your backyard, not only do you have kind of a cool camera to watch birds on, but you kind of also have a security camera in the backyard. And that's one thing I noticed is once I had it set up, I had situations where people were walking through the open area in the back, walking their dogs or whatever, and it would pick it up and just say, hey, person and pet detected. And I thought that was really cool. What it does is once you have it all set up, um, you can go into your library. Your library here is where all the videos of all the birds that may have come to your feeder. So let's take a look at this one here. So that there is a cardinal sitting at my feeder, which I thought was actually pretty cool. The one thing you'll notice is that it's very rare for a bird feeder not to be busy, right? So I was basically notified every couple of minutes that there was a bird at my bird feeder, but you can go in here and set it up to sort of bulk notify you. So it won't notify you of every single bird that comes to your feeder. It'll kind of say bird detected and then it'll wait for a little while and it'll kind of cache all those together so you're not getting bing, 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 bing. You might get that every once in a while, but you can set it up so that it kind of like says, hey, there's stuff going on, come check it out and you can go check it out. What I ended up doing was basically whenever I got a notification, I might mute it for an hour or whatever. Um, and then go in and kind of scroll through all my different pictures. So you can see up here, they also give you a calendar and you can see it's, it's very similar to how the ring is set up, but you can go to each day and see exactly what birds visited your feeder for that day. And as you can see, I just got a person detected. <laughs> because it did detect me while I'm recording this, I never turned it off. And then the other feature is if I was to come in here and kind of look at this bird here that's sitting at my at my feeder, I can click on bird detected and it'll pop up and it'll say in this video, a song sparrow or a red fox sparrow. It's pretty confident that it's a song sparrow, which is what it was, uh, but it said it might also be a red fox sparrow, right? So if I go back to the one here with the cardinal, you can see when I pop this up, it's basically going to say either it was a Northern Cardinal, which it really thinks it is, or a, I guess, Leewee, I guess, because that's a red bird also. And if you click on it, you can go through and read all sorts of information about that particular type of bird. So if you're really kind of into bird watching, or you really just like having sort of bird feeders in your backyard, this is a, this is a no brainer. The idea that you can kind of get a really good close up of those birds that come to your feeder, 
is absolutely awesome. And again, with all these different type of attachments, especially for me, uh, I, I you saw at the beginning that there's squirrels. I have a squirrel that runs around on our deck all the time. And he'll come over and start eating all this stuff up. A lot of times the birds might scare him away and that's fine, but I actually want to do a hummingbird. I think that'll be kind of my next test for this and get some really good sort of close up videos of hummingbirds. I think that's pretty cool also. And so one thing I did mention also was in order to sort of refill this with seed, you can kind of come out with a cup and kind of dump it in the bottom here. But as I showed before, you can go ahead and pop this lid up here like this. And then in the top, you can pour all your seed. And in the back side of here, this whole area fills with seed. So it's basically filled up here and it'll only let out what uh, it needs to in order to start feeding the birds. And as they drain that out, it'll start to go. So, so you can fill it up with a ton of seed and it'll last for a really, really long time. And one of the other things I wanted to show you was in the app itself is the settings menu here. So you can come in here and change your notification settings, basically have it, um, basically it'll notify you if there's birds specifically, you can have activity zones, classifications of, of person, pets, vehicles, uh, a package that's been delivered. So there's a lot of good notification settings. Motion detection, you can kind of customize that um, and have a sleep schedule so it's not dinging you in the middle of the night. Um, or if you want that, that's fine. You can do medium detection sensitivity. But I wanted to show you was the video settings. Make sure you come in here if you want and do uh, recording resolution to HD. It starts at SD, which is kind of like a 720p, but you want a 1080p so you get the best quality of whatever you're seeing through the camera. So that's really nice that it has the full HD capabilities. It also has night vision. So if you have any like creatures coming up to your feeder at night, it'll catch that. And then it also has SD card management. Now, when you start up the app, one thing you'll note is that it's gonna ask you if you'd like to subscribe to their cloud service. I went ahead and did that because it's I think like five or $6 a month and the first month is free. So I went ahead and signed up for their cloud service. If you're not interested in having a cloud service where all your images go to, you can put a, a SD card in there. And basically that SD card, uh, I think goes into the top part that I showed you earlier. And what that'll do is it'll locally record all the videos as opposed to sending them up to the cloud. But yeah, that's about it. I absolutely love this thing. Uh, this is going directly back into my backyard. I actually might ring up my friend who always tried to find the Oriole, see if he wanted to use that in his yard for a little while, see if he can finally catch one. Who knows? I don't know. But either way, this is the full HD bird feeder camera by DZs. Thanks again to them for sending this over. I love to share unique stuff like this with you. I'm just a tech guy sitting on my tech desk trying out all this cool stuff. But uh, if, if you thought this was cool, give me a like, subscribe. I'd love to see you back. But until next time, this is Carl from Techful Goodies, and I'm out.